Hey everyone, James here. So I wanted to show you how to maybe do a meetup using Microsoft Teams and specifically using the new live stream feature. I'm going to be testing out my good friend, John Galloway, and we're going to be using this at the seattlemobile.net user group. So the first thing that we're going to do is head over to Teams and you're going to have your calendar and up over here, we are going to select new meeting, but not new meeting, but new live event. That's that little drop down there. So let's do new live event. And I'm going to set this for three o'clock, even though it doesn't matter, but this would be your user group. I'm going to go ahead and call this live test three OBS recording edition. Da -da -da -da. You can write details about the events that are in here. And then what you'll want to do is you're going to have a producer who is going to be for all intents and purposes, orchestrating the event. So I will be putting John's video up. I will be putting my video up and can kind of uh, Q and a back and forth while John is presenting. So he's the producer. I'm the producer. I mean, and then I'm going to go ahead and say John Galloway over here. And that's the wrong John Galloway. Let's add the right John Galloway. There he is. He, he is a presenter. So if you have multiple producers that are in your user group, you can put them there. Um, or if you have multiple presenters, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next here. And now this is where it becomes pretty important. Um, this is your live event permission. So people in groups org wide for me, public, this is really important because I'm going to put this into my meetup page. Um, and specifically this will just be for anyone that registers and RSVPs for it. Now this is nice because there's no sign in required. So anyone can attend anonymously, which is very nice. Now here you can do a bunch of things such as recordings. If that's available to you, you can make it available to your attendees. You can have it later on. Most, most important. I don't know why this is not checked by default, but add Q and a, that's going to be the only way that you can interact with your attendees, um, via the system. We'll show that off here too. And then I'm going to hit schedule. Now up here, you can always go ahead and add this later on, um, and, and edit your event. But you can also go ahead and say get attendee link. So if you forget to add the Q&A, you can hit edit later there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit um, join. And it's going to go ahead and put me into a different mode here, which is the live producer mode. So you see I'm joining as the producer, which is very, very fancy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and connect. And we have Mr. John Galloway there. Hey, John, how's it going? Hello. All right. John is coming in crystal clear. So. John is a um, presenter, so he has a different view than me. We'll show off his view here in a little bit. But what we see in front of us is any presenters and any producers on the bottom. So you see John's video, you see my video, and then we have cues. And technically right now the event hasn't started at all yet. So what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm going to go over to my browser and I'm gonna go ahead and paste a link over here. And I'm also gonna give John this link. This is the link that specifically um, was given to me via that team's invite. So I've given John that link over there and here yep. in the browser, what you're seeing is it wants to open teams because I have it installed. So we'll hit cancel and I'm going to say, watch on the web instead. And this is going to be the experience that probably most of your attendees will have. So here I'm going to go ahead and get to the live event. Now you could sign in. Now, if you already have a team's account, you, you could sign in totally fine else. Just tell people to join anonymously. That's totally the best option. I super duper like it. And as we can see here, the Q and a on the right has opened and the event has not started yet. So let's head back over into, um, teams so we can get it started up. So this is really cool in our queue. Q, I have a few options to either do a single source or a split view. This is rad. Um, split view is very cool. I can come in and like share, um, something like maybe visual studio, uh, over here. And if I share visual studio, um, I have that as a piece of content. So any of your presenters will be able to present their desktop or they'd be able to present, um, um, a piece of PowerPoint or something like that. And what this enables you to do is select the content that you want. And then here on the video, I can select myself. Oh, or I could select John. I could put John up there next to my visual studio. People would be very, very confused there. Or if I just want to go all full content, I can decide whether to put visual studio, John, uh, up there, 
or myself. He's drinking something right now. Beautiful cold brew and or tea. Uh, it is a cherry Coke. Is, oh, is, uh, cherry Coke. Come on. Now. All right. All right. We'll let it give him a pass on that. So let's go ahead and slang <laughs> over this video and start the event. So here we're going to hit send live. Bum, bum, bum. Now this is going to queue up my system. It's going to give me everything I need. And this is the live feed, but the event technically hasn't started yet until I hit start. So let's do it. We're going to hit start here and I'm going to hit continue. Now there is about a 10 to 20 second delay that's going on. Um, but we can now see that John Galloway is live, which is very, very cool. Now, if I hop back over into my event, let's go ahead and see that really quick here. We're going to see that the live event hasn't quite started yet. Again, it's on a 10 to 20 second delay, but there it goes. It's starting up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio over here. Now there is about a 10 to 20 second delay that we to have it twice. And, um, we're going to now get our event so we can see John there. Everything is good. Um, and now what we'll do is we will head back over into teams and let's check out the Q and a. So up top here, we have some live information. So my current bandwidth, the resolution, and I can talk to, um, um, to John here. So I could have a private conversation with the pre presenters. Hi John. Um, which is nice. And only John can see that. Um, and yep. I can also go to the show Q and a, and this is really important. So here anonymous says, I can't even literally even you, that's great. So let's go ahead and hit publish up there. That's awesome. I can also make an announcement and say it has started boom, which is very, very cool. Now at any time here, I can change the video too. If I want to put um, the content back up here, now I have John, um, and my visual studio should be coming up here pretty soon. Um, so we can see that pop up, but let's head back over to the browser and we'll get the feed in and we'll see the Q and a, that's what I really wanted to show off. So inside of here, um, I can look at, um, uh, John's questions or the moderator's questions. I can thumb up that. Now here's, what's cool is I can ask a question. I'll say, James uh, asked this in here. Um, I'm going to go over into my, um, teams again, and I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> publish these. And what I can see over here is that, um, James asked this. And the, kind of like you can have this conversation back and forth. Um, so here I can say hello from the moderator, right? And I can see that popped up over here to help answer questions. So it's not like a super duper um, chat per se, but it enables the presenters and the moderators to have a one side conversation um, with the user group and also make announcements. But I can also always see mine. I could follow up again with more Q and A uh, inside of this questions that are here. Boom. This question is very important to us. So now we have John over here. He's presenting. We see his beautiful face. John, how about you, um, do a little present, uh, present your screen on your side. So I'll hop back over sure. to teams. So, so far I've just been seeing my content, but John inside of his portal has decided that he wants to share some content. So John mm -hmm. is, uh, hopefully there's no PII, no personal identifiable information there. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on his and now, um, I can see a preview of what the users will see. And then I'm going to hit send live. So now over in the teams, we get to see visual studio for Mac, John's beautiful face and boom, we are good to go. Um, that's pretty cool. John, did I miss anything? No, that seems like about it. And then this is all being recorded locally as well right so this is the uh, via the stream microsoft stream i believe via the stream yes that is correct and of course with the other thing you could do too is you could record in obs locally or something like that as well but according to my settings because i do have a teams account obviously there's my microsoft account here um, i believe i'm the only one that needs a, an account the presenters will need an account but a free account would do um, but I think to record, you do need a, an official account account, but that should be it. Yeah. That's great. It. We did yeah. it. Cool. Well, I hope everyone finds this a little bit helpful. John, thank you for being my guinea pig on this. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right.